Hi, Dr. Janae. How are you this morning? I'm doing great, thank you. So let me introduce you to our uh, viewers. Uh, this is Dr. David Janae, practicing in uh, Florida, and I will let him continue uh, introducing himself. Hi, I'm uh, David Janae. I practice in Aventura, Florida. That's uh, South Florida, uh, in between Fort Lauderdale and uh, Miami. Um, I've been using uh, Periactive for approximately five years, and I think it's a wonderful product. Um, but I happen to know uh, some of the founders. I know their motivation, and I know the origin of this product. I followed it through its development as well as its uh, uh, clinical trials. So I'm intimately aware of the science. And um, ever since it uh, got approvals, I've been using it and my patients absolutely love it. So what type of situations would you normally use Periactive for? I typically use Periactive um, in environments where I want to improve the healing as well as I want to uh, um, post-surgical healing as well as long-term uh, used to control inflammation. Um, I, I like every like every other periodontist um, or dental practitioner. I've used uh, Peridex or chlorhexidine for you know decades, and um, although it does work, um, it has some drawbacks. Um, more most importantly, in my mind, was it, it's alcohol based, and it's not really a, an appropriate drug for long term use, and. Um, to me, that's probably the most important reason why I like the Periactive because it's a botanical um, and I can use it long-term and it actually does improve healing as opposed to just being an antibiotic. Uh, the antibiotic I see is a downside um, because it kills uh, all the bacteria and we need that bacteria for the health of the mouth as well as the entire biotome of the gastrointestinal tract. So I, I see a big disadvantage with chlorhexidine um, in, in any use other than maybe in the short term uh, to fight a some kind of bacterial origin. Um, and I can get the same anti-inflammatory effect for a longer period, as well as a, a actual healing impact um, for as long as I ever, I want to use it. So if you had to compare Periactive to some of the other products, and just in general, how effective do you find it in your practice in terms of your acute case and long-term case management? Well, it's funny. It's hard to really, you know, to, uh, it, it, this is periodontics, you know, the tissues, they, everything moves at a slow pace and, uh, and healing is not the usually overnight. Um, that being said, uh, compliance is a huge issue uh, that I have with uh, chlorhexidine, but I don't have the same issue with uh, periactive. So that's that's the that that it's a it's a very important factor, um, and um, I find that it it really does give a kickstart to the healing process when I get a case that's just not healing appropriately or a patient who has um, um, mouth sores um, and ulcerations as well as um, in, in combined with uh, post-operative uh, from post-surgery, I find that the periactive is going to manage both of those things at the same time. And, and, it, and it really works well. So you've been impressed by the periactive results. Well, perhaps share with us um, a specific case that is a standout case in your mind, which, you know, sold you on periactive. Probably would be a case that, that as I just described, where I, uh, it's a post a large surgical procedure in the mandibular arch, um, where the patient, an older patient with uh, concomitant systemic issues, um, the patient just wasn't having appropriate healing at the suture removal. And, um, and I'm not one who uses um, any kind of mouth rinses immediately after, after surgery. I usually use a perio pack. Uh, to cover the the, uh, the area, but on suture removal, um, in addition to the tissue being red and inflamed, and it and the healing just not appropriate, the flaps really weren't even adapting. Um, there were multiple aphthous ulcers, which uh, some people do get post surgery. 
Um, so the periactive is, to me, it's a no-brainer because it's uh, proven to be um, anti-inflammatory as well as I know there were studies that were done um, on 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 uh, uh, on diabetic ulcerations. So I know it works on ulcerations throughout the body, and I'm sure, I, and I know it works in the mouth as well. So I, I figure I get I get a lot of bang for my buck using the medication, as well as the compliance um, is is great, and um, and the patients uh, don't mind the taste, which is uh, which is a which is a, which is a real big deal. <laughs> So do you recommend it for patients on an ongoing basis long-term, your periodontal patients? I mean, I, I, don't, I don't do anything long-term for everybody, but for patients who have a very hard time um, managing their, 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 the inflammatory, the acute inflammatory components of their periodontal disease, um, I certainly do. I use it on my patients that, that, that my diabetics and I use it on my patients with, with other systemic issues that, that just, even with good, um, maintenance and good, good, good compliance, they just never really, um, are able to manage the, their inflammation on their own, even, even with my help. Uh, so those are ideal patients for them. Um, and I have a comfort level knowing that, uh, because it's non-alcohol based, non-antibiotic, um, and it's a botanical that I could keep it on them for, you know, for as long as I think it's necessary without any, um, negative side effects. Fantastic. So summarizing, what would you say you feel about Periactive? It's amazing. My name is David Janae. I'm a periodontist in South Florida, and I am a Periactive fan. <laughs>